Hello YouTube. Welcome to another review with me, John. I'm having trouble with my camera today for some reason. But anyway, today I went to the Burger King to try out some new items I had that I have not tried or reviewed yet. The first of which I'm going to review is the burger. It is not a chicken burger. It's not an A1 burger. I don't think they have a wrapper for this one yet. But this is the Steakhouse King sandwich. The sandwich alone is $5.99. So I'm hoping this is really good or else I'm going to be kind of angry. A little cheese on the side there. Here it looks like you got double patties and on top we have some bacon and it looks like some barbecue sauce and some mayo and oniony bits. Uh, we have cheese in the between patties and nothing on the bottom. So let's try this out. It looks like one, two, three, three like half strips of bacon. Let's give it a try. It kind of does taste like their A1 burger. I don't know if that sauce is A1 sauce. It would make sense if they were calling it a steak burger or a steakhouse king that they would put steak sauce on it. Now, with that being said, I like it. I like this. I like the A1 burger they had. And I'm pretty sure that one had bacon on it, too. I'm not sure if that one had the little onion bits. If that's the only addition. I'm kind of disappointed in that. that they just kind of, like, took something they already had and rebranded it and then had the nerve to call it new. Like I said, I liked it then, I like it now. Juicy flame boiled patty, crispy bacon, zesty A1 sauce, it's all good. Um, it's like a 9.5 out of 10 burger. Anyway, I'll save that for later. Go on to something that is new, I know for sure. This is the Fruit Loops shake. It doesn't say Fruit Loops anything anywhere on the cup. But uh, the uh, whipped cream has already melted into like a goo on top. But you can see the little bits inside what I assume are Fruit Loops. Let's give it a shot. Yep, definitely has that fruity cereal taste. It tastes like you know, like the milk in the bottom of your bowl after you get a bowl of Fruit Loops. It tastes like they took that milk and turned it into ice cream. Especially because like they have the little bits in it. So you know like that last bowl of cereal you get out of the box. If you really just dump the rest of the box in there. It has all those crumbs and bits in it. And you mix that into the milk. It usually ends up on the bottom after you're done eating. That's kind of what this looks like. It's kind of what it tastes like. When you get the little bits in your mouth, they're a little bit crunchy still. So there's like a little bit of 
chew to it. I like it. It's very sweet. I don't often get shakes anyway. So I probably wouldn't buy it again. But if you are a uh, frequent shake drinker, uh, you might want to get this one multiple times. It tastes good. Definitely an 8.5 out of 10. The Fruit Loop Shake from Burger King. Good job. The Steakhouse Burger is good, but I think you are just relabeling something you already had. Tell me if I'm wrong, Burger King. I'd like to know what the difference is. Anyway, that's it for this review. Until next time, bye.